Anticlimatic. All right, where was it? We cast natural order. They containment freeze. Okay. We activate Gris plus. Move initiative to stack. They play the siege engineer. Okay, so yeah, we didn't know about the this, but maybe we're supposed to play around it so that they can't kill our Gris. Like suddenly that was really awkward, right? Like this grew to a three three because they like revealed it, and then suddenly we can't kill this anymore. Um, and of course that like completely changes the complexion of the game too, right? Because the Fiendar is an otherwise tutors the uh the thing later on. So, so that's good to know. Um, I think we can run it back with the changes. Uh, I think we definitely want the fifth dork. I don't think we want the shepherd. It was kind of bad. The question here. Okay, we we went up to eleven fetches. And I think the rest is probably fine. We'll, we'll run it back. I, I thought we learned a lot from that league, so that's okay. Not sure if this gets asked often. Hey, Rachel, since you're so far off the elves' core at this point, have you considered dropping Land Wars for Ignoble Heart? Uh, it's been asked a few times. Um, so the question for to, to answer that is... Um, I've tried it. I don't like it. The, the reason being is because... Being able to scare your opponents with Shepherd when you have uh, elves is a real thing. Like, from a strategic and from an actual relevance standpoint. Uh, looks like we're playing against uh, initiative again. Although they kept, if they are on initiative, it is a weak hand. We're gonna head towards that way because I have not seen sixty card DNT in quite some time. Uh, that's fair. Second, I just don't like that as a three drop. Right, we're just like so crowded right now with the three drop spot. Uh, sure. Is a thing. Huh, okay. I think we do this and we get the we play the cradle right now, I think. Ironically enough, that, that force is actually kind of a good draw. And then maybe we can just take down the Archon, the falling from with the Gris. Really depends though. I think if you want to splash colors, Rachel, uh, then I think Birds of Paradise is actually better than Ignoble. I think dodging uh, Rough Tumble and Blocky Merrillage are both relevant. So the interesting thing here is... Interesting thing here is um, there's no need to block Merrill Uh Yeah, I, I so Tim is here in the house. Uh, I wonder what deck Tim plays, but all right. Uh, I think what we're gonna do here is we're gonna play the Arbor, make a mana next to Cradle. Actually, hold on. I think we play the oof. We can actually pitch the oof. Do actually do we even care to be honest about the the archon? Like maybe not, because the reason why I say that is maybe not because of the, the fiend artisan, right? Like. But regardless, they're going to be able to attack, right? Whether it be in the air or with the protection. So, actually, I take that back.
Actually, I think be, because they can attack, I think we take the Archon down. And with that said, I think we do it this way. Gris kill the protection? No, they can attack it anyways. This is flying. Mm, we can plus. We can race Archon. Probably can. I'm thinking about it. Yeah, actually, this is going to be a... Well, they forged the Archon. It's a lot of damage as well. But then they have to spend mana. So if I plus here, that's going to be four damage, five, six. Still... No, I think I'm going to plus and make mana. Oh, wow. Okay, I plus correctly. Now we have lethal, I think. That's true, uh, Dustin. That is true. The, the the combo version basically scoops this card for what it's worth. Uh, we have a little bit of game. Uh, still hard, but possible. So we have one, two, three, four, five now. My mana. And technically lethal next turn if they don't do anything. Um, they could just double attack the Gris. I think we take that as a win. If they don't do that, we definitely plus again for the extra mana. Hitting the, the wire with there is like pretty good. And I think we plus again if they don't kill it and set up a kill next turn with the, the force. Yeah, this this guy's cradle is just like supercharged right here. Let's see what our opponent does here. They are in the tank, but so were we earlier. Uh, they are missing the second white, so let's see what they do. The Dungeoneer again. I think that's fine. I don't think we care, to be honest, at this point. Do they go to Trap? Uh, they take us a 12. That's fine. We're gonna, we're, we potentially hope to end the game next this following turn. They may try to pump this Archon against the Gris and then, like, take it down with the Explorer, is my guess. Actually, they can't, I realized. That's pretty funny. So, alright, they double do that. So that's fine. Alright, so we there's a touchdown from the Jacksonville Jaguars right now. Looks like it was an interception return. So five, six, seven, eight. Do we have lethal? Yeah, I think we do. I think this is game one. That's crazy. All right, they just conceded. That's fine. Like I said, I don't think the Neto version is pretty much ever beating this. And we just won through an Archon right now, which a lot of combo decks cannot beat. Oops. 
That's the wrong card. All right. So that played out well. Um, again, I think it's just too important to have turn one snuff out that we just cannot play any of these extra um, fluff lands, so to speak, right? Yeah, I, I just don't think combo is beating that typically. Although Jax will argue, and he's not wrong, we're not really a combo deck anymore. This is like, it's like a mid, it's not, okay, I hate when people say mid range because I don't think it's really a mid range deck. It's like a prison slash tempo slash with a combo kill, right? Like, I, I don't know, I don't think it's mid range, but if you want to call it that, then I guess you can call it that. Thank you for the fall, uh, Sif173. It's like closer, in my opinion, to some a hybrid tempo and prison deck. Like, this is like a very tempo card, right? Sure. I think we want to do this. Nice. All right, we're in the driver's seat now. That's why I said it's just too important to have snuff out turn, turn two or turn one, right? Not to mention we force pressure from our opponent now, right? Like, if they don't play another, uh, what's it call it? Uh, another dungeon uh, creature-ish, then suddenly we pull like further ahead. If they do, we can either grist them or um, natural order them, right? Either one is gonna work. Uh huh. All right, they haven't done anything here. I feel like that's maybe a containment priest. Uh, again, we we don't care. Well, the damage could matter. No, I think we're gonna loss well here. Bottom and that one is okay. I think. Actually, yeah, I think we, if they have priest, they have priest, right? Like, and then we just pass. It smells like priest, but yep. There's a chance we should have hedged and bottom the the green sun, for what it's worth. So is it as long as they don't have the dungeon near again here? Yep, that's annoying. Oh my god, that is... Yeah, so that was a mistake. I think I should have hedged. I felt like they had containment freeze and then maybe bottomed that. But now, now we're getting punished. Why do they always have the Continuum Priest against me? Well, never mind. I have the answer. Um, I'm 
Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to, like, they're dead a million ways, right? Like, we're going to natural order for a ton here. That's why we play more removal, right? Like, I, you just want to answer, like, their hate, too. And f luckily, we top deck what we needed to. But that's also potentially why we're, we're on the, the three death marks, which potentially should be something else, but I think it was good there. It's like the other slot, the other card that's possible in that slot is Dismember. And, and that version of the deck is the latest version as far as I know. Uh, it's built to be Elves, dude, with the Archon's main. Okay, it's Delver. Yep. Uh, one of my latest uh, guilty pleasures is the turn th turn one three spells. We don't have the once upon a time, but it would be like once upon a time into fetch, into snuff out, into like ramp, right? And then like set, put the pressure on them. People have asked me like, oh, um, are you afraid of snuff out like being too lost, uh, life prohibitive? My answer is, it's better I lose a f four life up front and spend zero mana, than spend more to one or more mana later on and lose like you know either six or nine life. Right, depending on the Delver flip. Also, not not to mention they feel behind too when you do something like this. It, they they have to play differently. They can't just like try to ride Delver to the end, right? Like it's just like. Okay, you turn one stuff, you're gonna force that. If you do, I play another one and you just, Like, I'm not afraid to go to eight life. Like, I'm not afraid to go to eight life with casting triple snuff out, if that makes sense. Because I think board control matters more than anything else. Yeah, that makes sense, uh, Ravenous Panda. Not to, it's like a virtual 8 life almost, right? With Adnaz. Snowball is definitely, definitely a very, very broken card. Uh, this is problematic because... To be mana efficient, I want to play the Visionary, but... It can run into days. And if they daze into Murtai, that's a problem. Oh, all right. Yeah, th I think the card was just severely underplayed before. So they did that, sure. At least that means no Murtai. If they had it, they would have played it. Yeah, free is broke. Yeah, so DC had a saying like, you pay four at the door, so you don't have to pay nine down the line, I think is what he said. That's a pretty good... Um, Statement, right? Like, otherwise, they're gonna swing in for three Delver attacks against you. Not to mention, you're spending mana, so you, you can't even develop your own board. Especially a deck like Elves, where it's like an exponential growth deck, not a linear growth deck. They're probably gonna waste the value, but sure. Maybe maybe even, there's a chance to just slam down Murtai or two. Actually, no. If they had Murtai, they should have done it last turn. Um... Petty Theft on the Reclaimer, sure. They should attack, I'm not gonna block. Yep. Uh, it is, but not at the moment. You're not wrong, but not at the moment. So 
So if I pin this, they go to 16. How much do I want? Actually, if I was going to do that, maybe it's best. I feel like if I want to do it, I kind of have to have it be lethal. So they can go to 16, go to 2 here. The problem is they slam Murktai, then what? Is that game or no? That's going to be a lot of creatures. I feel like we pass here. I don't want to get into this weird situation where I can't attack through, right? Like, I, I think I want it to be lethal. I'm not going to uh, expose myself to Wasteland too. Jacksonville is up four with a minute and a half to go. Yeah, I, I thought about taking the life there, but with one Delver and a potential... Uh, you think Mayfield is good for the Rams? Uh, I'm not sure about that. I think he's okay. Uh, especially if like Stafford retires or something. Um, I think more so it is like maybe good for both of them. Maybe they have another bolt. That's like my only thing I can think of. I think I really need a creature on the top though. There's a the creature I was looking for. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this matchup is like near, like very, so good now. It's like, I'm hesitant to call it a buy, but it's like pretty good. Like all the changes that initiative have pushed us towards have been horrible for the Delver matchup. Like has made us so much better against Delver, if that makes sense. I've got under 40 on the game. Need the Jags D to step up here. Uh, yeah, looks like uh, they can potentially run out the clock. Jags are going to make the playoffs. All right, uh, I think we're bored in. I don't love Engineer, but I, it has to come in, unfortunately. I th same with Guy's Blessing. Games like that make no look very good. Very good against Delaware, to be honest. That's fair, but to be fair also, you're not going to have Guy's Cradle every game. And if we don't have the Guy's Cradle that game, uh, it's significantly worse, in my opinion. Right? I don't think we want to rely on Cradle, if that makes sense. But one second, I'm going to get some water. Yeah, so the other thing about the Jags, too, is I do think Trevor Lawrence uh, is a, you know, can't, he's supposed to be a can't-miss prospect, right? And I don't think anybody can succeed last year under Urban Meyer. All right, uh, the question here is, do we keep this because it's a little slow, right? I think we do. The bog is like... Yeah, I, I, I'm a big fan of Trevor Lawrence. I think he is uh, very good. I'm a little bit skeptical of those receivers, to be honest. Okay, there's a victory formation now. Pretty much a playoff game, to be honest. Like, winner take all, right? Winning in, so to speak. We're going to use uh, magic terms. Winning in. Ugh. The dreaded DRC bobble start.
My team is rocking with Mr. Relevant House Money. <laughs> All right. Uh, I think given that we just top deck the land there, I don't think we want to see more lands. So I'm gonna show them the land that we top deck, and then into once, and then into um, Elvish Mystic. What do we want here? Probably the Endurance. I would think. Yeah. I think what's likely to happen here is they're gonna try to pull ahead with the the DRC. They're gonna ball our dork and then like get close to delirium. We're gonna we're gonna leave with the green sun, bait out of, of days and then bog them and then set up the endurance the following turn. Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah, bog actually pretty decent here. We're just gonna. You know, I'm gonna bog them to take them off, you know, some damage and like not get run over potentially by uh what is it called? A Merc Tide. I think it's not worth it to endurance evoke like ninety nine percent of the time. Uh ooh. That is also a very intri intriguing uh card. So I think here we don't take any, we don't mess around that the guy's blessing is going to get, you know, forced into Murktide or something crazy like that. I think we just like steadily build towards the Endurance and then they just like roll over and lose. Put one card on top, it's probably a two, a uh, one drop. So I think here it's correct to not do anything and I think end step endurance so that we can green sun the falling turn for Gris and, and have endurance to protect it. That we care. Get Shepherd. Uh, what do you mean by that? No, I think I'm gonna get Grist, right? We're gonna like. Shuffle, sure. I don't think they have threes, but I could be wrong. They definitely don't have fours. Um, there's an argument to be made here to get um, an Arbor. I don't want to get blown up by a Sweeper, I think. Uh, I think in this situation, I think we're going to continue to try to hit land drops. That's pretty good, actually. Mm. I think we get Gris here, force the days out. Endurance insurance, yeah. I like the rhyme. All right, the desperation try to get the Gris off the board here.
feels like they could have submerged, and that's like one of the scary parts about going for the Gris kill, right? If it, it, it with only an endurance backup. Could be like petty theft, uh, theft too. In an emergency, we Gris pitched the Once Upon a Time. But only in an emergency. I find it's typically wrong to, to evoke endurance. Like, I don't think you're gonna, it's just, you're down too many cards. And we like get to flood the board now, so to speak, right? Shuffle, okay, that's good. Oh, that's a bad attack, in my opinion. Yeah, I, maybe our opponent doesn't know the matchup. That does not seem like a good attack. Mm, I think we plus first play the land uh, we're going to main phase the endurance here and see what happens yeah 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 for sure I mean I, I agree Uh, I think we visionary right here. Hey, they want a brotherhoods, and I I don't think we care. I I think the game is probably already over. Like between you know X four tribal, there's twelve of them, right? Four endurance, four reclaimer, four uh, artisan. And between four snuff outs, I just think this matchup is miserable for Delver now. Yeah, I mean, the reanimator is a whole different animal. Uh, answer key gaming for what it's worth. So, I guess we can test uh, with Once Upon a Time, see what they have. Chooses not. They pondered not. Show. Okay, sure. Uh, Fiend Artisan seems pretty good here. Uh, I don't think we want the Endurance at the moment. We could tick this down. I just don't think there's really any need. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. I mean, that's like part of this game, right? You just you cannot beat this card. There is a tech card that is that's in these colors that is good against this card. I'm a little a bit afraid to reveal what that card is because I don't want people to play it. It's I've seen it like fringe in sideboards. Obviously, Submerge comes to mind. That's good against Artisan, but there is another card that is like kind of annoying. Uh, if you are curious what it is, I can just DM me. I guess I I don't actually. I'll just say it. it's fine. It's not a big deal. It's not like people are playing that card. It's the uh, Ashiok. Ashiak Dream Render is like pretty good against artisans. It's like quite annoying to play against. Like beatable, but very annoying. Yeah, I'll, I'll card that here in case people want to, you know, target elves, I guess. Because it, 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 it shrinks the graveyard and then I can't search. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So again, yeah, it's annoying against the whole deck, right? Like, it's like 
the type of card that is like lines up well against because it's like ancillary graveyard hate and cannot search. So we have to we can take it down obviously, but like it's like quite annoying because we because are you really gonna board in Tormoth Crypt or Leyla in the Void against Elves? Probably not, right? It's just like you're down a card. But that thing is like it does double duty, so that's why I think it's okay. Alright, uh I'll bring up the deck again. i am gonna use the restroom. Uh, opposition agent is way worse, in my opinion, to play against than Ashiok Dream Render. Um, and the reasoning being is because I can actually attack Ashiok down. Uh, I cannot kill opposition agent really easily, especially when my desired um, removal of choice is snuff out. Y yeah, opposition agent, if you really want to hose elves, that's probably the best card, to be honest. Like, it's not Sweepers. It's not, like, some, something like... Okay, another Delver player. It's not, like, Sweepers. It's not really... Um, what is it called? It's not... Ashiok's, like, annoying, but I can actually play through it because you can... It's a Planeswalker, so you can attack it. The issue with uh, Agent is I can't really get it off the board. It's it my issue with it, at least. Also, yeah, that's the other thing. The decks that play it tend to be Dark Ritual decks at the moment. Ooh, that's annoying. Man, they just... Shoot. They wasteland me here. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. Uh, I think I'm going to lead with... Reclaimer and see what they do. Thank God. The, the, the reason why I sequenced it that way is because uh, I'd rather them daze the Reclaimer than the Green Sun. Sure. Like on this board, see, I'm a little bit scared of getting Wasteland out of the game here, right? But I think we might be out of the clear, hopefully. I think they are likely on a Murktide hand, which is why they haven't like played a second threat, right? Uh-oh. Oh my god, they're on the like the all removal hand. Alright. If that was a deal 
So the DRC could have potentially attacked for a whole bunch already, like depending on how that, you know, worked out. Iteration probably, yeah. Like, it's possible the DRC could have like flipped over three, four cards already, and then threatened either Murtite, Mur threaten either Murtite or a Wasteland here, and then we probably just lose, right? So the the snuff already like huge. Um, question here is like, do we just go for the Gris Slam? I feel like probably not. We might force this. I don't want to just like get the Gris Days. That's like horrible. In my opinion, they want a days. Yeah, I'll give that to days. Like we actually, we know they have days. What am I saying? No, I I take that back. They revealed one days. So I, I yeah, I don't think we want to lose the 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 gris to a days there. When we we have like two good plays there, right? Like if two artisans resolve, we probably win anyways. So I think here, the greedy play is to grist into artisan. I think the better play is probably just get endurance. You just like reset their yard one again. Um. So they force here. So the problem is we can't even protect um The problem is we can't even protect the Grisp, right? Even if we stick it. Uh we endurance here, like choke start to choke them out of the game. And then we're gonna Gris next turn. It might already be over. This this thing is a monster. Like I wonder, I don't, they, they must have top decked that. Like, I find it hard to believe they would have sandbagged that. Petty theft, probably on the artisan, yeah. That's actually pretty good, I guess. That three card types could be four. I can go artisan into once. Does the problem is does that do anything? I don't think so. Especially with two Arbors dead, yeah, I think we just Gris and like see that wins the game. I mean, it's a must force. And we bash. They could heat us, which is annoying if they have that. That's like something I'm, that, that, that's kind of annoying. They burned their artists, uh, the, the bar already, and I don't blame them. They kind of have to, right? Like, are you really going to allow the, the Fiend artists in deck to, to untap a second time? Right. Yeah. I, I was debating. I was like, either, it's either Fiend into once, but it seems like Gris probably just wins the game, to be honest. They have to attack here. Uh, if they heat, that's kind of annoying, but... 
Uh, otherwise, they run their DRC even into the endurance, right? Yeah, that's over. Like it, ha it's pretty much heat or bust at this point for our opponent, and even then, they're still in a world of trouble. That's that's actually the this game actually illustrates why I think this version is so much better against Delver than the the Glimpse version is because the Glimpse actually doesn't do anything until you kind of stabilize already and then you pull ahead, like Artisan is Artisan is good even when you're even or behind right, whereas Gri Glimpse is only good if you're even or ahead. And that's not just for this matchup, that's just in general. Uh, it's just more applicable against this matchup because uh, because it's the most popular matchup before, right? N maybe Inisha is more popular now, I don't know, but... Uh, this is kind of interesting because we don't have a play until much later on. Uh, I'm a little bit weary of keeping these kind of hands that are a slow, right? The Arbor is bad. I think I don't want the second endurance. Yeah, we're going to mull. This is probably better. Keep and then put the Gris away. Yeah, there's that too. But I'm just talking about with respect to Delp. I guess the Silver Bullet is endurance, right? It's just win target game a lot of times. Uh, I think we just want to hit land drops. So... Uh, once into, ooh, we miss, well, like, Arbor is kind of a land drop, I guess. I, I almost feel like taking the second Cradle is, like, potentially even better. And then we, we expose the first Cradle, and maybe that's okay. I definitely want one of the two lands. Uh, it's probably gotta be the Cradle, right? Just too high power level. And assume that the first one gets wasted. If it doesn't get wasted, we win anyways. Like the, it, it feels anemic to take an arbor. And I, I definitely want to hit that third land. Like, the, the 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 one of the strengths of this build is you pretty much beat wasteland manadino out of Delver. like it doesn't really work and i don't want to like randomly lose to, to manadino out there sure no blocks i think here we play the reclaimer and then we like hold up endurance uh they could bolt the arbor that's like reasonable Yeah, they heat the arbor. I think what we're going to do is the same thing, right? We're going to play the Reclaimer. If they... D oh my god. That is not what I want to see. Well, one too many Cradles. If I had known that, obviously, I would not have gotten the Cradle. I, I just think the second Cradle, we expect the first one to get, like, Wasteland out of it. And then, uh, let's see what they do here. Like, I think we just, I don't want to jinx it, but there's one thing we cannot afford to happen. That's okay, I guess. Uh, I think here, a nice top deck would be a Shepherd just to, like, force the Endurance through. But, it's, it's just awkward. With if This was, like, another land. Like, we we wanted to hit a land, but the problem, the, the two lands we had options to, the Arbor and the, um, that's, like, okay, I guess. I don't think we want to lose the days here. Maybe they force, I don't know. I don't think we want to lose today, so I'm gonna main phase this. We we have a third one, right? Like well, there's no harm. They might have to force if they have it. Yeah.
<laughs> so the, like I said, we ha I felt like we had to get. It kind of felt like we had to get the, uh, the, the third land, right? Counterbalance, all right, interesting. That's like one reason to play Shepard, I guess. Uh, the, we're in now, now we're in Flood City. Uh, we're going to play the fetch if we're not activated because we are at a critical uh, life total that is one above a multiple of three. Sorry if this has been asked. What is the guy's blessing for? It's for Painter. Your artisan deck is much better than my test. I think the reason why that's the case, Zach Faden, is because the shell is already uh, there, right? The elf shell. Uh, I think the reason why people were unsuccessful with um, artisan is because they try to build around that and play, in my opinion, suboptimal cards. I don't. I think you don't want to play bad cards just to make it good. I think you just want to play it in a good shell. If that makes sense. All right, we need to draw endurance here. That's not it. Jesus, not so. Uh, oof, this is really rough. Uh, they probably have a one on top. I'm not sure if we are afforded the luxury to play around it. Yeah, yeah, yes, for sure, Zach Faden. Um, I feel like we have to. It, it's probably a one, but what are we gonna do? Yeah, we are probably dead. We could have taken a creature. I feel like that is probably greedy earlier. Also, once upon a time. Aside from that, there's not much we really could have done this match. We have to block. I think they're going to try to bolt me in response and, you know, kill the Wirewood. Although, if you're going to do that, you might as well... Oh, okay, that's... Fair. If you're gonna do that, I, uh, ooh, I don't even have the the arbor. I think we're just dead on board. Yeah, I, man, I think yeah, we're just dead on board. I, we can't beat this. Like both arbors in the yard. That's uh, not how I drew that up. Artisan is, uh, I know a lot of people refer this to like artisan elves now. Uh, Forest Worm is not the strongest creature in the deck. Uh, that honor still belongs to this. It's just the card that wins more, that the people see win more often, in that they, they get choked out by, uh, you know, with like either a hate bear or like a grist or, or whatnot. This is the card that really is the best creature in the deck, but, and by a lot. It's, it's a one drop. Artisan's a two drop, right? Like, this gets the, also the best card in the deck. Like, the Cradle, right? It's combo hate. It's like, it does everything. Uh, uh, I don't think we can do that. <laughs> and that's just like too many once upon a time. And the Arbor's pretty bad. Oh, my God. Uh, uh, I think we're going to lose now. Jesus. 
I didn't fetch because we know the bottom two cards, right? We want to have a good start. Uh, I think we play the Reclaimer. I think we, because we're down to five, I think we have to um, play more conservatively, like with our mana base here. The hard part is we don't mulligan much, but if we do, it hurts more because we have few like gotcha comeback mechanisms. Does that make sense? Like glimpse, you get all some free wins because people don't all play against you. But there's like less of that in this deck. You're you're you you're more relying on. Okay, they just like down themselves a guard for no reason. You're more relying on them to like. You're relying on yourself to outplay your opponent or like. Play at least as well as your opponent, if that makes sense. For some reason, they decided to bring a surgical, and we're going to lose this game. Ugh, Jesus. That's like my, one of my pet peeves, losing to somebody who brings a surgical against me. Yeah, it is. It's, a, it's a really, it's actually hideous against me. But I think we're going to lose to it, unfortunately. It, it, it's, it is quite hideous. That is pretty good. Two, three. We actually can do both, although not necessarily today's. Uh, we'll see what they do. Sure. It would kind of make sense if you had a card that 100% cannot beat... One second. As I try to read your texts. I right, force that. That's fine. We're actually not that bad now because they like minus one themselves a card and then suddenly we're in the game. Yeah, I think so too, Zach Faden. I, I I was thinking about debating whether to play that in today's or not. I I feel like you just like try to reset them every time they just lose, right? Play oh my god. The play engineer here put would have been pretty good. Uh, the question here is like, do I run one of them into the DRCs? Probably not. Yeah, pretty much. A free thought seize too, right? I mean, uh, free shock. <coughs> um, so I just read your quote in 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 electable uh nineteen. Yes and no. I, I think Reclaimer is a real problem for them, for what it's worth. Maybe uh, something end step here. Uh, I think we have to do it now. Actually, hold on. What in the world is going on? Alright, so they went to zero. Maybe that's a Merc tie. I don't know. Oh, the iterate. Alright. Interesting. So now that. What did they, they ponder? They pitch ponder, Zach Faden. So now they're going to get two six sixes. That's really awkward. This is why I hate. Ugh. This is why I hate playing into this matchup. I think we probably lost now. We, we've lost two endurances. We lost to a player that... <sighs> the broad and surgical against us. It's like my worst nightmare. They probably bolt here. Cut us off mana. Seems reasonable.
Yeah, definitely a rough game. We moved a five. Unfortunately, that's not cutting it. This is what I get for saying that this matchup is favorable. Of course, I would lose. Uh, I would look again. M maybe, maybe not. Like, how are we supposed to project this is going to happen, right? Like, that they're going to do something like that. If I knew that they were going to do this, then maybe I keep the seven. No, they were just dead. Unfortunate. Uh, actually, I, I I made one mistake. I think given that we really needed the um, I think given that we really needed the endurance to resolve, possible we should have done a upkeep. They could have drawn it. They had uh, force the whole time. So they drew the EI, but that's fair. I think we, we would have lost anyway. Alright, uh, what was the next card? Fortunately, lost this game. Um, let's review. Guess there because of the bog, but this is like real loose. I think this is also loose. Uh, I think we lost because of the engineer. Like this, that's why I hate engineer in this matchup. Like I more, I would rather not keep it in or board it in. All right. Like I, I think against Delver, you can't have. All these like cute things you want to do. I think you have to cut all that out of that against Delver. It's it's crazy sometimes against. It also does nothing sometimes. Like that that's an example, right? Like it could have either either won us the game there if we had the uh, the Bayou. Uh, it, it probably does to be honest, and it, or it just like does nothing, right? Like pretty unfortunate. How are we mulliganing? Like we have twenty three lands. Actually, to be fair, twenty right. Bog and uh, and Arbor don't count. I think we put the endurance back. We only have one one land that we can count on. What in the world? We're playing against. Looks like ninjas. Well, I'm glad that uh, I bought him the endurance. Doesn't do anything here. Uh, I think we get the cradle, but Dork is tempting. I think we take the cradle, but yeah, Dork is kind of tempting. Th this card is just too broken. Like. If you never played with Guy's Cradle, it 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 feels like you're playing a different format than, than the rest of Legacy. Obviously, you can't solely rely on it because then it makes you one dimensional, but it's just like very, very good. Should be a ninja coming in here. That one's reasonable enough, I guess. Probably play the thing again and then draw a card, discard a card. It's a loot, I guess. Two one mana looter. You guys know Il Ludo Il Cor or whatever it's called, the the shadow one. Should be playing the Thoughtler again, I would imagine. 
just in the event they draw a uh, a Yuriko. Uh, the cheese play here will be trying to wasteland the underground sea, but I think that is a cheese play. Uh, let me see what I want to do. They can also just like put something else. They could just have another land, I guess. I don't think I want to do that. And then we want to go that into uh, the Fiend Art and then put pressure on our opponent. Right? Like, we have a card that we reads potentially win target game, right? We'll pass. Plague Engineer, really relevant in this matchup. So, uh, yeah, Plague Engineer, very relevant. I think the one wasteland is fine because, like I said, if you do flood out, it gives the reclaimer something to do. Uh, ideally, we have something like a saga. The problem is, um, it's kind. Saga is kind of slow. I think we must block the hacker here. If they put in Eureka, we just like get destroyed right like there's too, too many cards because because the the ninja is a, a thing too yeah that's okay i guess i don't know it's an elvish visionary one, one mana though that's kind of cool Actually, annoying. Like, we... If I knew that was going to happen, I'd rather not block. I was thinking as one of the other two, right? Like, either Eureka or the, the Infiltrator. Oh, my God. Really? Ugh. feel like I'm supposed to I should I should not have done that I can, it's like, do I want to kill this or kill the Thopter? Probably the Thopter. Sorry, probably the, that. And we'll pass. I don't like how this game is going for us, we, but we did mole. How many times did we mole? I'm gonna six. Yeah, I, I don't like how this game is going for us. We have like no action, and maybe that's part of like not playing the second visionary, right? Oof. Maybe we have to. I'm trying to think, would it, the other game that we lost to Delver, would it, another visionary would have mattered, maybe. I'll try that again, I think that might be okay. I think with the better mana base, maybe it's okay. Right, with 2-2 two, two split. It's, uh, it's just food for thought, I guess. 
The dork has been good, but maybe we can live without it, right? Like, f- because of flooding issues. Granted, we're or we're two and one in this league, I guess. Like visionary right now would be like really good. Uh, Wrong matchup. Although endurance, I don't know how much that matters here too. Uh, da da da. I don't think actually I should have killed the ornithopter first. If they put a Eureka, I would imagine they put it on the Strix, so I'll, I'll pass. Alright, you get more value. We could save it for like another one of those blue ninjas. It's really awkward stuff out here. That's stuff out basically only good on their Thopter or their the blue dude. If they have Changeling, then it's like really awkward. It's like really feast or famine in this matchup. Is a hell of a card. Sure. Force probably. At least we drew it out. We're gonna take potentially one to two more every turn here. What do they pitch? They exile another borrow. So they. Yeah, that's fine. Well, I think one a turn is probably fine. I think that they start to increase the clock, then maybe it's problematic. There's no, there's really no point to attack it with the collector. Sure. Uh, I think while they're tapped out here, I'd probably just kill that right now. What in the world? The good thing is n natural order is now lethal. If I were them, I probably wouldn't even attack with the Strix there because you have lethal next turn. Uh, we unfortunately are down to only a few outs. Cannot believe we're losing to this. Alright, uh, that was a very awkward game. Um, what to do? I think we we'll definitely want the engineer. The problem is after that, it becomes very difficult. Like, do we want to cheese with the snuff outs? I feel like it's probably better than endurance. Like, endurance doesn't really do anything, right? Like, and I'm not sure. I don't think any of the other cards are, like, relevant. I think... The progenitor is probably better than the bog, so there's that. And that's probably it. I don't think we want Guy's Blessing, like, where their only dependence is probably like one, maybe two murderous cut. Hmm. 
This matchup is actually a little bit awkward because it's the, the liability on the can't hit black becomes a relevant thing. So we have to hit their zero drops, which is like very awkward for us. Or they're like one drops. Like I just don't think Endurance does anything in this matchup. Uh, I think the... Uh, okay, so our loss so far was to Delver, in which, let's see, oops, I can't, let's see, our loss was to Delver just now, I think we can review whether I should have kept Oops, wrong one. Oh, the wrong game. I'm, I'm thinking the other game. Actually, I'll close this again. We'll focus on this first. Uh, reasonable, I guess. Keep. So, yeah, can't keep that. I don't think. Put that back, that's fine. Alright, uh, we drew land for turn. We saw two lands. I think... Possible, possible, we should have take one of the other cards, yeah. So, live and learn, I guess. Uh, we can look at it some more later. Actually, yeah, here are my socials. If you like my content, or, or just want to spy on elves. Nervous or something, or play uh, Outland or the Outcast, whatever the thing is, the Changeling. Uh, I think we play this and pass. I think we'll pass. Uh, it's not how. I don't like how this game is playing out here. This is one matchup where I kind of want C's. But I think we need more help against like those Rider Flame decks. They'll probably attack. I think they're gonna Eureka in or something. Never mind. Feel it feels like they have Plague Engineer potentially. Uh three mana up here. I wonder what that could be. I think I'm gonna jam into days here. Uh just because. I know I you know I think the shields oh my god. I think we just have to hope that they don't have it, right? Like, our hand is not very good. I think I bought it in Progenitus. Yes, I did. Maybe they have it, but our hand is bad, so. We did, we did not draw well.
If that snuff out was a seize, this game is probably very different. Probably different. I should be attacking with the Strix, I should assume. They had days they would have used it on the natural order. They still get the value though off the Strix, which is annoying. It's a uh, that ninjas is like a control deck's worst nightmare. It's it's kind of like built similarly to elves, where you're, uh, or at least the the old version of it. Where it, sure, I think a natural order off the top here is what I want to see. Oh, they, they went after my mana. Interesting. De, de, uh, maybe they have multiple. The flood is real, though. We went one and one, I think, this lead against Delver. Uh, not where I want to be, but not the worst, I guess. And I think we're going to lose this game. Uh, we just drawn land for days. Artisan is the one relevant card. Uh, yeah, that is that's the thing that I've seen happen. That is pretty sick, yeah. Oh my god. Our our our. The way our deck is built is just doesn't line up very well against that kind of deck. Like we don't really have anything that's like good, so to speak. Sure. And then they're gonna engineer on it should be elves here. Or elf. There's that too. Oh, okay. That is kind of interesting. A little late, but still relevant, I think. Ninja. We're not dead yet, but not looking great. Luckily, our opponent's deck is full of, like, air, so to speak. Like, the Adopters are pretty bad. Like, it's it's another example of a deck playing, like, bad cards, so to speak, right? Like, because the engine relies on it. Sure. They probably play Engineer here for Elf. I can't see them naming anything else. Right? Insect is like a possibility too. But I think elf in dark. Uh, we now suddenly have some gain. Oh my god, why? <sighs> Just too... Like, that, this is the problem, right? Like, you either hedge for mana now or you don't. And we do, but then we like flood a little bit. A trial maybe is like reasonable, right? You could like, I don't know. Can't 
don't think I'm allowed to, uh, I think Grist, I guess, but like, then the Yuriko attacks, I don't think that does anything. Pass, I guess. Calm down, Inigo just woke up from sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> That's a hilarious comment, Mike. Uh, I don't think I'm allowed to attack here. Actually, they like they trade with the engineer. Maybe I'm supposed to attack. It's hard to say. Right? Then they go to eight. It's like maybe a race I win. The game does not feel good right now. Like, I'm pretty sure this is an L. And I'm pretty sure I just misplay by not attacking. Uh, it's just, if they have another engineer, then it's just like we lose our Fiend for nothing, right? So, maybe. Actually. I think that that actually simplifies our decision. I think I think we're supposed to block now. I think that I think that would be reason not to attack, right? Like if they alpha strike there, you block and then you hold back a turn. They attack with the Onithop because it's kind of free, I guess. It sounds like they're gonna board. Uh, Ninjutsu in like yeah infiltrator. We're probably dead. Delta sure. All right. Oh my god! Just all the lands. Maybe in the non wasteland matchups. Ooh, okay. Maybe in the non wasteland matchups, we're supposed to board out of land. But the problem is, this matchup we just don't have anything, right? Like, like all these cards are bad against them. Like, none of these have text, right? Like, maybe that's a reason for like a dismember, maybe. <sighs> like we kept it the snuff out, but I don't think it's great. Like, if they sequence here correctly, they can draw into a Brainstorm and, like, kill us with the Eureka trigger, right? Yeah, there's the... That's heads up from our opponent. Yeah, alright. Um, I think there was anything really that we could have done there. Actually, I'll pause this for a second. I kind of want to review the second game r real quick. Uh... We mulligan. And we drew a land. We once. We wanted to draw another land here. And I think there's a real chance here that um, Finhorn Elves is correct. Right? Like, we have essentially two more chances to draw a land. Like, we're going to go... So, I, I think in hindsight, I'd probably take the Finhorn Elf. And maybe this game plays out a little bit differently. Right? I, the problem is I wanted land, but these are like kind of bad, right? I don't w really want either. So, I, oops, wrong one. I think that is uh, where we went wrong. So I think again, pretty productive. We learned something there. We'll try to finish strong here. Uh, not the best stream, but I think we learned a few things, which is nice. Um, I I think the other thing we learned is just playing is just awful against Delver, and I. I would rather just play something else, right, in the sideboard. I don't know what that card would be, per se, but I, I just do, do not really want to play this against Delver. If we can avoid it. 
Don't know what that card would be though. That's the, that's the dilemma. I, I I think Leyline is is not really a card I want to play. I don't want to try to chi the wind. Oh, good luck, Adriana. I'm very happy for you. Very very happy. What deck are you playing, Adriana? <laughs> nice. Actually, don't tell me yet, in case somebody here is like potentially your opponent for the finals. But um, that's pretty awesome to hear. I'm, I'm uh, definitely happy to hear that. Definitely happy to hear that. I think we... Okay, black, red, mid-range. I think um, the mana base is fine. We did flood out a few times. I don't think that is like the enchantment that makes mana. Which which one are you talking about? What, are you talking about uh, the color fixer? Uh, I forgot what it's called. The green one that the Yorion players play. Are you talking about that one, Adriano? That uh, blue Zenith plays? Uh, I forgot what it's called. It's the color fixture, the ETV draws, I think is what you're talking about. Abundant growth, yeah, I think. Oh, carpet. No, carpet's actually an interesting uh, suggestion. It's actually very powerful, too. Top deck hero. I think this is an elf player. We, I mean, we're going to keep this regardless, but... Elves, all right. Oh no, they're 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 playing the. Uh, I know what they're playing. They're playing what. They're playing a essentially a list that. Um, yeah, probably would help versus control too, which is good. They're playing the list that um, David Lance suggested Jarvis play in the five vote on stream. What do keeping here uh i guess it's got to be the shepherd right the other stuff don't do anything or they're redundant carpet is interesting though bad top deck but like kind of pretty interesting not being a creature is not good though but that's uh, so Snowfall's not a creature. It's arguably our second best card right now. <laughs> I actually, believe it or not, thought about it. Believe it or not, I thought about it. What are they playing here? Oh my god. Why, why would you play this? What is going on? Uh, I think we just play everything and then like flood board. <laughs> That's how you make money. Take notes. Sure. Yeah, the Baseju Rofellos deck, right? Like, Jesus. Alright, so they did that, so it, you know, makes mana for itself, I guess. There's that. The irony here is, without the Shepherd, like, we're, we can almost hard cast the, uh, the Hoof. Uh-oh. If we didn't draw the one drop, though... If it was just a fetch, opponent would be chilling. Um, uh, 
I really hope they don't have engineer. We'd be screwed here. I, I was I, I actually thought about it too I was like but the problem is it was it felt a little bit dependent on what I drew and if I drew the wrong thing then it's a turn slow I I literally thought about it but then like I said I we had to draw it had to be a one drop right all right they're dead I don't think they can get out of here right well actually that's not true they can get a cradle here I guess but that's still not enough, right? Like, they, they're short mana now. Like, they can't even engineer us. Even that's in their deck. <sighs> so, interesting. Um, we probably bore similar to L's, right? It's just that engineer is worse. But agent is probably the thing that matters anyways. Fitting that we're playing against uh, this deck. Actually, i probably leave this in, to be honest. In the mirror. The true mirror. Or the... Actually, the tr the fake true mirror. Uh, Shepard's kind of bad. Death mark, ironically enough, good here. Um, I think Grist is probably good here, like to answer their opposition agent. Uh, and this matchup is gonna be a race to agent. It's as dumb as it sounds. Death mark and the aforementioned agent keep. So the question here becomes do we kill the ignoble or not? They could have like a lot of mana maybe next turn if we don't. Um, I feel like we do. Maybe like potentially mana screw them, right? Yeah, kill the mana, that's for sure. Yeah, the, their mana's all messed up now, right? Like. So I am glad, I, I'm showing, I practice what I preach, right? I just like, go after their mana, right? Reclaimer's gonna be a big boy. The beauty of this is, it's gonna, the, the agent is gonna be somewhat concealed too. Oh my god, alright. Pinarism, maybe? Shriek Ball? Oh, that's right. They, their old list is like, it copies our list. That's, that's true. This is the old elf technology, by the way. Like, and when I say old, only a few months old, like half a year. Uh, we put, there's a potential huge blowout right now. We'll see if it's gonna happen. Sure. Uh, there's really no need to do it now. I can just do it later. Two months of being old tech feels like two years in the current. That's true. That is true. Uh, 
I'm going to go for the Haymaker blowout here. I think they may suspect something's up. Like black mana is open and I have four mana. I'm not sure they can do anything about it to be honest. I think we're I think they probably just lose. So I feel like we do it. They can they're gonna get cradle, but it's not gonna matter. Like we're we're already won. Yeah, so they, they saw it coming, but I mean, that's okay. Like, it, it's over now, right? Like, All right, let's see. Can anybody, can anybody please confirm if Pilling stops Vizier of Remedies cycling? Uh, I think so, yes. It stops abilities in hand, too. Vizier of Tumbling Sands. Let's see. Card. Vizier of Tumbling Sands. Yeah, it, it, it stops it. It, uh, Adriano. So we got the three one pity chest. Uh, we can open it, I guess. As promised. Death cloud. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, pithy needle. The only thing it doesn't stop is mana abilities. So it doesn't stop like mana doors or. or or like lands making mana, but it does stop lands like wasteland abilities and things like that. Uh, and it stops things from hand. So I forgot what the card was, but there's a trade binder cell. Why is why do I have six of these? What's going on? Why do I have six of these? That can't be a coincidence. Okay, that's three coins. All right, people who love flip coin flipping, so there's that. Uh, there's the death cloud. All right, uh, back to the drawing board. No, no problem, Adrian. By the way, uh, we went three and two. I don't think there was anything we could have done against that uh, ninjas matchup. I think we just hope to dodge, right? It's it's not that we can't beat it. It's just like we don't really have anything for them, right? We just hope that our that deck is strong enough to just beat it naturally. And we had some rough draws there. Uh, in the other matchup against Delver, I think I would rather not have this card in. But maybe it's fine. We Maybe we just like... To be fair, if we drew another... If we didn't flood out the way we did and maybe take the other uh, thing, I think we maybe we win pretty easily. It's hard to say. Uh, I think overall, though, the, I think the deck felt fine. I think... I definitely think the death... One death mark... Maybe should be a uh, dismember. So there's that. Uh, I wonder if I have a dismember here somewhere. Here to go. So I think th that split might be okay. Uh, also... The thing that death this never does too is like we potentially could just actually one mana and then e four is not great rate against Delver. Right? I'm not sure I would board it in against Delver, but I could board it in against other matchups. Uh, so maybe that change is okay. All right, anybody have any questions from me? I can go ahead and raid uh the legacy pit. 
Uh, appreciate everybody coming in. I know we had kind of like a mediocre stream today, but I think we did learn a lot. Uh, and I think the, for me at least, I don't really care about using these for uh, to improve the deck. I don't, I don't really care about like immediate win rate when uh, the only payoff is really chess. And I have been, for what it's worth, the, after the previous stream, I did run really hot and ran 15 in a row at one point. Uh, all right, with that said, I guess if there's no other questions, we'll go ahead and raid the legacy pit. Uh, anybody? Last going once, going twice. Sold. All right. All right, enjoy your night and thank you for uh, tuning in tonight.